I heard about the micro mission trips and I was very intrigued. There were a bunch of different mission trips that were being sent out and um, that was the Kenya one. I first heard about First Love from my husband who had went to First Love in 2017 and he had told me great things that they were doing in the ministry over there in Kenya. Felt the calling that he needed me to go on this mission trip. Walking into the slums um, and seeing how people lived, the poverty was incredible. People are living in little shanties, just curtains for doors. There's sewage running alongside the, the pathways. The children were amazing. They were so happy to see us. The hugs were abounding. They wanted to shake our hands, and there was such joy in the middle of that hopelessness. Those kids just, they lit up my day. And then to be able to shine the light of Jesus into their lives, I mean, what a blessing that is. The smells, the sights, especially the smells and sounds surround you as you try to focus on the work that God has sent you to do. But once you encounter the students in the primary schools, all challenges disappear. Their greetings of joy by ways of songs and telling you good morning or good afternoon teacher melts your heart. These muddy alleyways and pathways, and they were all smiles when they came in. But for these children to do this every single day, this is their life, and what's in that mud, it just, it brought that too close to home. It's, it was some, it was a very humbling experience. You know, it's people creating beauty, even in very hard, desperate conditions. Seeing how God works, even in very dark circumstances, and the same God that sustains us here, sustains over there. It was just very beautiful to see the love of God so consistent even across, even across the world. On the last day, leaving the Kibera slums, there were four little toddlers. And um, one of the toddlers broke away from the group, and then this little one grabbed onto me. I picked him up and and I looked at him and in that moment, I was just overwhelmed with what is gonna happen to him. And I just prayed for him in that moment. I just realized that God, God can do what I cannot. If God really wants you to go, accept the mission. It doesn't matter if you are broke, you have no money, you don't know how it's gonna happen. God will work all that out. You do not have to worry about that. Just lean on God and He will get you there. All mission trips will always strengthen your understanding of what service you may be to others. I am always open to going where the church and God tells me to go and you should do the same. Also, please support the great mission work done by Cowboy Fellowship and financial giving, prayers, and even volunteering to go on a mission trip or to another country. You will be greatly blessed beyond any words that I can say.